NL Central Facts and Rumors, which is which we are sorting it all out here to help us out. See Trent Rosecrans, our MLB blogger, starting with the Cardinals. They're battling neck and neck with the Reds for the lead in the NL Central. Trent, do you think they need to go out and get back up for some of the injuries they've been dealing with? Maybe not as much. In the pitching staff, yeah. I don't know about it in the fielding part. I think they'll be fine with the bats. They showed that recently. Uh, in this recent stretch that they've had. But still, I don't know if you feel really secure about Blake Hawksworth or Jeff Supon at the back of your rotation. Do you? And the question becomes, do they go to a front-of-the-rotation guy, a Dan Heron or Roy Oswalt, or do they try to build in the back and feel in the tape? They're pretty good with Carpenter and Wainwright and Jaime Garcia in going into the playoffs, and do you add, say, a Jake Westbrook? or someone of that level to that pitching staff. Well, they are battling with Cincinnati, who's kind of turned it around a little bit. Uh, was Edinson Volquez exactly what they needed? Uh, I was there the other night, and it was amazing just to see. It was a, bolst, a bolster of confidence just to see the old Edinson Volquez back. He's a guy that helps them more than just every five days. He's, he's, a, he's a guy that they like around in the clubhouse. He's always smiling, gets around, uh, has people laughing is always relaxed, and the bottom line is it bolsters their, their starting rotation. Now you don't have to worry about when Homer Bailey gets back or, or even Aaron Harang. Both these guys have, have been on the, are on the disabled list, and you're not exactly sure when they're going to get back. Right now it doesn't really matter. They've sent down guys, uh, a guy, Matt Maloney, that would probably be the fourth starter for the Cardinals. A little spark for the Reds, Edinson Volquez. You know, the Brewers have underachieved. I think the fans are wanting a little bit more. And the consensus on Prince Fielder uh, is that he's trade bait. Where might he end up? You know, I still think he's going to stay here for the end of the year and then maybe be traded in the offseason, kind of like what the um, Rockies did with Matt Holliday a couple years ago before he's a free agent in 2011. But – you know, there are teams like the White Sox, the Rays, the Giants, the Angels that are interested in him. Although I think it's more likely to see Corey Hart traded from, from Milwaukee. He says publicly, hey, I want to stay. You don't think that's going to happen, though? No, I think you sell high. And that's the thing. is, is Prince Fielder, you're not selling high right now. Corey Hart, you're probably selling high. And... They have some outfield depth in their system and will be okay without Corey Hart. All right. Also fading away in the central, the Chicago Cubs. Are the days of seeing Ted Lilly and Derek Lee in Cubs uniforms numbered? I think so. Ted Lilly is probably, now that I think Cliff Lee is off the, the uh, trade block, he might be the most important name out there. And that tells you, I guess, all you need to know about this trade market at the deadline is that Ted Lilly is your marquee guy. Both New York teams are interested in him, say Detroit. Uh, you would expect him to be in a different uniform once the calendar turns to September or to August. All right, we will see how it all works out. Hey, what's the deal with Roy Oswald? He has $25 million left on his deal through next season. He would want it picked up through 2012. Is a team going to do that and, and spend that much money on this guy? You know, that's the question. And it doesn't look like there's anybody willing to take on that kind of money. You know, there's... Of course, the Yankees. Every time we mention money, we have to mention the Yankees. But it's not like they're just throwing it out there or that he's really a need for them. They would like some pitching. But I don't know if Roy Oswald is exactly what they're looking for. The one team that would fit the whole, every little specification of that would be the Texas Rangers. But yet the turmoil over their ownership situation makes taking on that much money a huge question mark and something that may not happen. We will see what becomes fact and what stays rumor in the NL Central. And be sure you are the first to know. Thanks for watching.